Heads up, 19 Xbox and Bethesda games are now available via NVIDIA's cloud gaming service, GeForce Now. Now, this news obviously builds on the announcement from February of this year when Xbox's Phil Spencer revealed that the company had signed a 10-year agreement with NVIDIA that will see Xbox PC titles, Bethesda games, and Activision Blizzard titles all come to NVIDIA's cloud gaming service, GeForce Now. And while for the most part we're kind of in holding formations for the Xbox Activision Blizzard deal to close out. But outside of that, the games arriving this week on GeForce Now do include Xbox and Bethesda titles. In fact, right now, NVIDIA GeForce Now members have access to games like Age of Empires Definitive Edition, Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition, Age of Empires 4, Crusader Kings 3, Dead Cells, Deathloop, Gears of War 5, Grounded, Mount and Blade 2, Bannerlord, No Man's Sky, Pentiment, Quake, Shadowrun, Dragonfall, Director's Cut, Stellaris, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Valheim, Warhammer 40,000, Dark Tide, Wolfenstein, Youngblood, and Wolfenstein 2, The New Colossus. And to those of you in the comments section, it's Steen, not Stein. No, I grew up watching Frankenstein. It's Frankenstein, now Frankenstein. Now, when it comes to accessing these Xbox and Bethesda titles, members will have either had to have bought these games via the Microsoft Store or have an active Xbox Game Pass PC subscription. But either way, I mean, it is definitely nice to see this relationship continue to flourish. And I know that there were some people out there who had concerns that following Xbox selling off the Activision Blizzard cloud streaming rights to Ubisoft, that somehow that news would impact the partnership between the two companies. But the good news there is that according to Microsoft's Brad Smith, the agreement with Ubisoft will still allow Microsoft to uphold its deals with other platforms like NVIDIA, Boosteroid, Ubitus, and of course, Inware. So big day for the GeForce Now users. And again, another solid lineup of titles. And uh, you know, honestly, uh, now that the forbidden door has been kicked open by Microsoft and we're seeing games that were exclusives now be on other platforms, it's going to be very interesting to see, like, what games get added to GeForce next. I, for one, am definitely going to be looking out for, like, Halo and maybe, like, Sea of Thieves. And, uh, you know what? Let me know what game you want to see added to GeForce now next. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. Are you listening?